Good evening, everybody. That's better. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Right, welcome to um, Hucknall Warriors Football Club's uh, second presentation night. This is approaching our second anniversary. We've been going two years, so welcome, everybody. Um, I think the club's achieved a lot particularly over the last uh, 12 months. We, we need a bigger venue because we've got more people, more teams. Um, and the club, I think one of the highlights this year is the club's obviously achieved charter standard, which is uh, a great achievement. And um, obviously we've also acquired another team in the under eights. So it's been a good year and we'll hear more about that as the, uh, as the night goes on. But tonight is really about recognising the, uh, the players and all the hard work that everybody's put in this, uh, this season. That's the players, managers and everybody else. So that's what tonight is about. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the proceedings. Um, we're going to start off the proceedings in, in, a, in a moment. Uh, I'll only be talking for a moment. Um, we'll have three presentations for the three teams that we've got. Uh, that'll take us up until around about quarter to nine, uh, nine o'clock maybe, and then there'll be a buffet. Buffet will be served in the back conservatory there, so that'll be laid out from quarter to two if you can wait until you get the queue. Um, and then around about half past nine, we'll have some special awards and some special thank yous, and we'll try and get those wound up for about ten to ten. Um, and then from ten to ten till eleven o'clock, we'll have Phil and the DJ, etc., etc. Um, just a few few house rules tonight, just to try and make um, tonight go smoothly. Um, we have a lot of technology here today, so if it works, great. If it doesn't, it's his fault. Um, but if we could keep all the the players and the children, um, they're okay there, but if we can just keep them away from the stage, keep them away from the equipment, that would be great. If we could just stop them you know, running around, that would be great. We want everybody to enjoy themselves, we want the night to go smoothly, and no kids playing in the, in the corridor, that would be great. Um, it's not easy, we've got about 100, 160 people here tonight, I think. So, um, and you've been ever so quiet for me, which is fantastic. If we can do the same for the managers, that would be brilliant, because it's not that easy stood up here talking to a lot of people. So if we could, uh, if we could um, keep it the way it is for the managers, that would be fantastic. Um, and if the players could remain seated, you'll, you'll work out what's happening as we, um, as we go through the proceedings. But what will happen is if the players could remain seated and obviously the managers will, will call them up or you'll see your, your pretty face on, on the picture there. And if you could come up this way, or she'll trip over if you go that way, and come and stand on here then the managers will sort you out. Um, I think that's it really. Um, Crack keeps quiet. Um, I hope tonight goes well, hope you all enjoy tonight and um, let's get cracking with the proceedings now. Thanks. <laughs> 